I'm going to use the draw.io website to show you how to do some flow charting. So draw.io, we just pop that into the address bar of any browser, <coughs> and it should just take a second for things to load up. Now you can set, uh, at the point in which you're starting, you can set the draw.io to automatically save diagrams to one of your to your Dropbox or to your Outlook account on OneDrive or your Google Drive if you wish. Uh, I'm just going to decide later. And I'll show you that maybe when I finish my diagram. So you can see with draw.io you got your standard menu tools within your within your browser that you normally see in your applications. And then you've got a set of tools here to help you with your diagramming. So I'm going to choose flowchart. And in this example here, I'm going to use some of the standard flowcharting items. First one here to start my flowchart then to terminate my program that I'm going to, or my algorithm that I'm going to show you. Then I'm going to use this item here for data input and output. And then for any processing, just a standard square or a standard rectangle box. And a diamond shape here for decision making will be used. Okay, let's get going. I'm going to start off my flow here. And we're going to write a program here, uh, or an algorithm here for a guessing game, where a user inputs a guess uh, of a number between 1 and 10. The system generates a, a random number, and um, then it sees does it, uh, if the user's guess matches that number or not. A message will be displayed in a, uh, at the end, letting them know whether they've they've won the game or not. So user uh, inputs guess, and we'll join that to our start here. So to join anything together, you just literally go down to the shape you want to join. I'll go to one of the blue dots here. Let's try that again. Uh, go to anywhere in the shape, and where it turns green, if you just kick and drag then drop it onto one of the squares of the other dot. There you can see you've got a connecting line. So the user will input a guess. Then we're going to do some processing where I'll just click and drag over a process square here. And I'll join that on the next part of the process where, um, let's see what happens next. Yeah, at this point here, the System generates, or oh, the program generates random number one and twenty. Okay, and then we're going to check here if the number is equal to my guess. So we're going to have a decision taking place here. Again, we're just Join this part of the process to the decision. So when I want to type in something, I just click on my shape and I start typing. So if number equals guess, then we could do one of a couple of things. So you can scroll up and down your screen here as well. So there's a couple of possibilities here. One of them is that it's not equal to the guess. So I'm just going to output message. So on my connecting line, if I want to write on that, so I just click to select my connection line. And if I say no, it's not equal to my guess. There you go. You can also move that. Um, you can see there's a peach colored dot there. If you just kick and drag that up and down, you can move the text up and down your line or into a different position. So. Uh, just leave it back in the original position. Of course, when you select any text, if you double click into the text, you can format it just like in a standard word processor. You can make it bigger or smaller. Same goes for any text when you click into it in any of the given boxes. Okay, so if the guess is wrong, it was like incorrect guess. Okay. Oh. And again, you can just double click into that and you can hit enter there to make it fit into the box or you could resize the text if necessary. And at that stage, uh, the program would terminate. So I'll just grab a terminator. You can connect my lines together. 
Let's type in end here. Okay. And if the guess is correct, so if you get a yes here, you're going to output a different message saying, well done, you won. You won. And after that, put in the process as well. You can see you can adjust these lines as you need. In just any part of the diagram, you're just clicking and dragging and moving there. Once you have the, the move icon, you can see your lines, etc., adjust accordingly. You can always undo any of the moves you've made if you don't like them. You can always delete shapes by right clicking on them as well if you don't require them anymore. So I'll just click on that line and put the yes text in there. And just kick off it. So Nice guess you've won. Now what you could do as well, you could always modify the chart as you go along and you can, um, for example, I could put um, a flow here. Whoop. Get to the green dot before you draw a connecting line. You could put a flow there then, um, allowing the user to guess again and again until they get the number right and, and uh, until they've won the game. That could be an example of something you've done. You could create a loop there in your in your flow. So once you're happy with your flow chart, uh, then you can save it. Um, if you want to modify it later, the best thing you could do, and I'll just call this guessing game, is to save it to one of your online drives here. So for example, I've got a Google Drive. I'll just click on that. You'll click on a button to authorize, and I'll sign in with my account. And allow it to save. So I'll just select the My Drive folder to select it on the root of my Google Drive. Click Select. And it should take a second for it to process. So that's saved uh, for me to work on it future. And if you want to, you can just go back and you can open the previous one or you can open from your Google Drive again and you can browse to your drive and pick up your, uh, your file and work on it uh, in the future if you ever want to pick it up again. Uh, if you move from machine to machine, you just have to use your username and password to, to authenticate um, again. Okay, the final thing I'll show you here is just how to export this then into a printable format or uh, into a file that can be moved around computers. So I like the PDF format, so I'll just export that into PDF and give it the file name guessing game PDF. I'm gonna download that and that just goes into my downloads folder. I'll pop it open and this is what it looks like as a PDF.